Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Before I go in my deep freezer and pull out what I want to cook for dinner today. First of all, I got to give an honor to God who's the head of my life. Can't do this life without him. So, yes, I'm going to be pulling out, going in my deep freezer. And see what I want to pull out here. I think I want to go with some like chicken tenders today. So I'm going to pull out one pack of these right here. Um, I don't know how many is in a pack because I never cooked these before. But um, I'm going to take these out and this will be my first time cooking these right here. So we're going to take these out right here. And um, I'm going to put these in some water so they can thaw out. Because what I want to make today is a more healthier version of a meal. Yeah, I have, you know, been on the kick of fried food lately. And I have to come back, you know, on my journey. So, um, we're going to be having um, some uh, baked lemon pepper tenders, spaghetti squash, and some kind of vegetable. I don't know yet. So, with that note, stay tuned. Okay, I came back on to let you know these are the squashes that I'm going to be working with today. This is the spaghetti squash, and I will show you how to cut this up and prepare this to go in the oven. Love this stuff. If you guys never tried it, you guys got to give it a try. And this is a butternut squash. This is what I'm going to use for my vegetable today. And this is a very, very good squash. It's time for me to cook both of these. Um, they've been in my pantry for a couple months and it is time, you know, because this is the time I'm going through my pantry, cooking things you know, bringing things out of my pantry and cooking them because I have to replace a lot of things in my pantry. So this is it right here, guys. And this is what we're going to have. I'm going to start um, uh, showing you guys how I prepare my a lot of vegetable dishes. And sometimes we won't be having meat with those dishes neither. So on that note, oh, one more thing. I wanted to show you guys my honey here because I said I was going to show you this, uh, my honey garlic, the one I did. You see the little bubbles in there? So that's what um, it's going to look like every day. I loosen the top and let some of the uh, uh, air out of there and I just seal it back up. And this has been sitting now for a couple days and uh, this is look like it's you turn in different colors in there that is fine um the color discoloration that's that's not a problem because a lot of people probably will say well that don't look right no that is fine you just keep turning it i keep turning mine up uh back and forth like that and in a minute oh let me show you guys the honey is not as thick as it used to be. See that? It's not as thick. It's getting thin. So I say another week and a half and we will be set. Yes. So I have my onions sitting up here. I got to go through and take all the bad um, leaves off of it. But when I want spring onions, I just sit here and I cut these pretty much. I just put them in a cup and they just grow on over and over and over, and over. I have used this bunch so many times and it's just growing right in the house, guys, right on my cabinet. So if you guys like these kind of onions, put your some in a cup and grow some right in your home. All right, guys, stay tuned. I will be back with my chicken and throw out and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to cut up these squashes. So stay tuned all right guys here we go i'm getting ready to um season my uh meat real quick so i wanted to come on and tell you the season i'm using is obey lemon pepper black pepper 
a little parsley, and some garlic. And I have a stick of butter right there. No, I'm not putting the whole stick in there. And then I have my squash, lemon, and onions up here, which I'm going to be um, showing you guys how I cut that up. And guys, check this out. That one little pack gave me all of this. See, I started to take out two packs. But I am surprised this much was in one pack. So, let's get started, guys. All right, guys, here we go. I cleaned and uh, washed my chicken up. It's a little bit of water in here, so I'm just going to take some paper towel and just kind of dab in between the meat here to uh, get some excess water out of here like so. All right. I want a little bit in there, but not much. All right. Now what I'm going to do next is take that olive uh, oil that I made infused with garlic and rosemary. I'm going to take this and spray some garlic on my chicken like so. So the seasonings can stick a little better. All right, now I'm going to go in with my Obey. Just a little bit. I don't want to overwhelm it with um, too much a little garlic put that garlic taste to it just a little bit because you want to what I'm going for you're gonna taste um, lemon more than anything so here we go some black pepper and we're gonna put the lemon seasoning in here is lemon and pepper seasoning now you want quite a bit of that and we're going to do some parsley just to put some color to it yeah I could have put some sweet paprika in there also now what I am going to take right now well uh, hold on let me get a glove guys my glove on and we're going to just get this all seasoned up like so oh one more thing I gotta put in here just a little bit of because I'm not putting no salt in here um, hang on let me get it out my cabinet real quick and that is some chicken uh, bouillons but it's the loose kind let's see just a little bit because that has sodium in it so good enough all right now i'm gonna straighten all my uh chicken back out wow i didn't know that much chicken came in here guys that is a lot it really really is now what I'm going to do next is cut up my onions and uh, my lemon and uh, get them on here real quick. Let me take my glove off. That's why I like using those gloves. All right. I'm going to take my knife. Let me uh, put this stuff back and I will come back, chop my uh, stuff up. And we're going to get to going here. Get this bad boy in the oven. It's not going to take uh, that long to cook. Um, let me just move you guys back just a little bit here. So I'm going to put my onion right here. And I don't want much onion. This is an onion that I had used uh, mm, a while ago. So I'm just going to take that like so. Put some onion on top of this. Love onions. Love to eat them raw. Love them. Y'all already should know that. <laughs> I love onions. My lemon, I already washed and cleaned that. And what I'm going to do is just cut the top off of that just a little bit. Oh, let me show you guys what I'm doing. 
and I am going to squeeze some of that lemon juice in that chicken, like so. Try to get quite a bit of that juice down in there so that lemon juice can just soak into that chicken while it's cooking. And this is where we're gonna get our lemon taste, right here. Now the rest of the lemon, I'm gonna move you guys back like that. And now I'm going to just cut this up. I could assess this onion and put some uh, lemon zest in here, but that's quite okay. All right, and I'm gonna take these, move you guys back up. I'm gonna take the lemons that I cut up and just put them over chicken. Now I use one lemon in here and that is it. Now I'm going to take my butter Put my butter in here, and I'm going to pop this in the oven. This, is, like I said, should not take no more than 30 minutes to get done because we all know that it don't take a uh, chicken, uh, these little chicken tenders that long to get done. So I'm just going to put maybe three pieces of butter in here, like so. And uh, this is how I'm preparing this right here. So if you guys, you know, want something different uh, from the plain chicken that you eat, uh, jazz it up with a little bit of uh, lemons. I'm spraying some more olive oil on that. Oh, guys, hold on. Might as well use the rest of this, the lemon herb uh, vinaigrette right here. So we're going to just spread that around the sides here. And a little in the middle. Now we are done. We're gonna put this, pop this in the oven, and I will be right back. And we're gonna start cutting up that spaghetti squash. All right, guys, I am back. I have uh, my spaghetti squash. This is the smallest I can find in the store. Now you can cut it either way. This way, this sharp knife is very, very sharp. So I gotta be very careful. I don't cut myself. Ooh, these squashes is very hard to open. My goodness. Let's take that back up. All right, let's turn that around. Put it in on the other side like so. Oh, let me get a paper towel. My hands are greasy. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. These are hard to cut, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is when you need need a man in the house. Oh goodness! Come on, crack open for me, honey. I'm not trying to cut myself, so I'm really trying to be very, very careful with this. Let me go ahead and see. Can I get this open? Okay. Woo! Got him, got him, got him. Now what I'm going to do is take a spoon out of my drawer. Now this right here. Some people keep this uh, flush in, but I don't. I like to take a spoon and just go at it like this. And get all of that flush up out of there like so. Just get it off. Some people save the uh, seeds and roast those for pumpkin seeds. They are really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. So take all that out. All right, guys, I'm gonna clean the other one and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, let me show you how I'm going to season this. I'm gonna take some olive oil, spray some oil within there like so. You have to spray this oil on there. And then what we're gonna do is uh, put some uh, salt and pepper And our um, 
thing. Now you can put season it the way you want to season it, but it's hey, it is sweet. This is a sweet taste. It's gonna come out um, once it's done cooking like uh, spaghetti. Some people even put a uh, pasta sauce over these. So it is really good. If you haven't had one, try one. I love them and they're very, very good. So this is all we're gonna do to this right here. And we're gonna turn this over like so. I put one on this side and one on this side because I'm gonna put my butternut squash in the middle of that once I cut that up. And we're gonna just spray some oil on the back of that like so. And I'm gonna set this over here. And now let's uh, cut through this one. <laughs> Now, this one shouldn't be uh, that hard to cut through. So, now this is good. You can do a lot of stuff with uh, butternut squash, guys. You can um, cut it up. You can make a soup out of this. Butternut squash soup is very, very good. Okay, same thing here. I'm going to clean the seeds out of here like so. Just get them all out. I'm not going to bore you guys with that, but I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. I done cleaned my squash up. Now, what I'm going to do with this one right here, we're going to peel the skin off of this. Now, some people keep it on, uh, and the majority of the people peel it off, basically. So that's what I'm going to do. Peel the skin off, and then I'm going to cut this up in chunks. So, let me get done pulling the rest of this, and I will show you guys how I cut this up. All right, guys, I got everything peeled up. This is what the inside look once um, all the uh, stuff is out of them. Now, what I'm going to do, this one is more easier to cut than uh, the spaghetti squash there. Let me see, okay, that's good. All I'm going to do is just cut these like so. And then I already washed uh, this. And I'm just going to go cut them, cut them like so. Big, small. It don't matter. I like them all kind of ways. And I'm going to set those in my uh, pan. I have my spaghetti squash in. So let me cut up the other two. All right, guys, I have everything cut up now. Um, yeah, oh, I put a couple of these seeds back, guys, because uh, I want to plant these in my garden uh, next month. So I'm going to clean those seeds up and wash them up real good. So I'm going to spray some olive oil on here. I needed a bigger pan. I didn't cook all of them, so the ones that I did not cook, I will um, blend those up in a uh, smoothie or something. And what I'm going to do is season this with a little salt, pepper. It's a little salt. Not much. Just enough just to bring that taste out. And we're going to put some Mrs. Dash on there. Ooh. All right. Then what we're going to do is just take our fingers and mix all that, get all that seasoning all over that squash. Guys, if you never had butternut squash, try it. You can, um, this is a good, uh, thing eat eat that you can eat you can mix it with a cut up a sweet potato with this and roast the sweet potato with this also it is so so good so and it's very very healthy like i say i'm gonna show you guys a lot of dishes that i do you know especially with squash um you 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 guys will see but i'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven and when all of this get done I will be right back. So, don't go nowhere now. 
All right, guys, here it go. I just uh, popped it out the oven, and oh my God, look how good that looks. Guys, if you've never tried lemon chicken before with um, what you call these things, chicken tenders, try it, guys, or with any part of the chicken. Look at that. That is beautiful. So stay tuned. I'll be right back when I get ready to plate. All right, guys, my spaghetti squash done came out the oven. Let me show you what you're going to look for so you know it's done. You take your fork and you put it through here. Once you can go through there, fork tender, it's done. Then you take it out. I let it cool down for about five minutes. And you just take that and you go like this. You just scrape it from uh, the sides like so and uh, get it all up out of there. And then that's, you have your spaghetti squash. I mean, like I said, a lot of people eat this. You, they put um, spaghetti sauce over this. It's very good for a substitute if you don't want to eat the pasta. So I'm just going to mix that all up like so. And since I'm not going to uh, peel that side. I'm just going to basically put this squash in this one right over here until I get ready for uh, to eat that other side. And another thing, guys, this holds up in the refrigerator very, very, very good. You can uh, take it out the refrigerator, throw it in the microwave, and you have uh, a very nice uh, spaghetti squash. All right, now that is done. I'm getting ready. I just wanted to show you guys how you scrape this off. Now you can put some butter on top of it, which I'm going to do once I put it on my plate. So stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. All plated up, nice and beautiful. We have our lemon chicken tenders right here, and I put some uh, raw spinach on top of that once I took it out the oven. I didn't show that, but there it goes. And this is the spaghetti squash right here. Let me get a fork out of here. This is what the spaghetti squash look like. You put it on your plate. I put a little butter in here to, you know, melt down in it. And like I said, some people would put um, spaghetti sauce over that. And that is really good. This is our butternut squash. Uh, roasted that up really good. Like I say, you can roast that up. Put a sweet potato in that. Or just uh, parsnips would be good on in those also. Or uh, white potatoes. But I just, I like it all kinds of ways. And um, that right there in the sauce, I put that um, lemon herb vinaigrette marinade in here. And mixed it with some ranch. And uh, this is going to be our dinner for today. And um, like I say, don't really celebrate Easter, but we celebrate Passover. That's right, guys. We celebrate Passover. So this is dinner for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, keep your head up. Keep the faith. And um, like I always say, you guys stay strong out there. And stay safe out there also. And like I said, I'm going to start coming back when I do start cooking. I got to get away from the um, the fried foods. Because, I mean, that is so addictive. But I got to go back and get on my journey so I can start eating more healthier. Because the uh, summertime coming, I'm getting ready to start my walks. And uh, do all that good stuff like that. So, this is first of many uh healthy dishes that you can make and uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like share and subscribe guys and like i oh, god loves you let me just tell you that god love you and uh, i will connect with you guys in my next video bye bye